It's easy to fall into bad habits, and old habits die hard. People tend to crave fried and processed foods that are high in fat, salt, sugar, and chemicals the most. These types of foods are difficult for the body to process. A typical adolescent gets one-third of their daily calories from fast food. Almost one-third of adolescents spend at least three hours a day in front of a TV or computer. What if Gloria made a different choice? Making small changes can make a big difference in your health. Substituting just one unhealthy snack with a smarter choice can take hundreds of empty calories a day out of your diet. With a healthy diet and just 30 minutes of exercise a day, you can ward off illness, decrease your risk of cancer, improve your mood, reduce your weight, and live longer. Not to mention, you'll just feel better. So the next time you crave a snack, make a smarter choice. You'll be healthier for it. Teen births in the U.S. are unacceptably high, with 10% of the 4 million babies born annually being to teen mothers. <laughs> teen birth rates can be a generational issue. Girls of teen parents are far more likely to become a teen parent themselves. Very often, they are single parents. Prevention efforts work by teaching teens how and why to delay starting sex and the steps they need to take if they are sexually active. Please, not me. This can't be happening. No, no, no. I'm so stupid. My life is ruined. If you're a parent, talk to your teen about the importance of reproductive health, including delaying sex, avoiding pregnancy, using birth control, having respectful and honest relationships, and being aware of dating violence. Know where your teens are and who they are with, especially after school. If you need help talking to your teens about these or any health issues, ask us. We're your health care providers and we're here to help. Depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide. Approximately 350 million people suffer from depression. 5% of 12-year-old girls and 15% of 15-year-old girls experienced a major depressive episode in the past year. Hello? Hey, we're heading to the park. You want to come with us? No, thanks. All right. Hope you're okay. Bye. Among 15 to 24 year olds, suicide is the third leading cause of death. Each year, 
almost 5,000 people aged 15 to 24 commit suicide. 80% of teens suffering from depression don't receive the help they need. If you or someone you know is suffering from depressed thoughts and feelings that persist two weeks or more, call and make an appointment today. Having a boyfriend or a girlfriend can be great. It's fun to have a special someone to talk to, do things with, or just hang out. Who are you talking to? Nobody, just Stephanie. Well, having a romance in your life can be fun. There are some things you should look out for. Here are some tips to let you know your relationship is on the right path and some warning signs that it's not. I don't like her. I don't want you to talk to her no more. You hear me? But she's my best friend, though. In an unhealthy relationship, your boyfriend or girlfriend may try to keep you away from your friends or family. It's either her or me. They might make you think they do it because they love you. Most of the time, they do it because they want you to pay attention only to them, and that's not healthy. What's up with you now? I just didn't tell you, but you always get mad at me. Yeah, because everything you say is annoying. When things aren't right, you may often be afraid of upsetting him or her. When relationships are bad, Disagreements turn into name-calling and put-downs. Now that we've given you a few things to look out for, here are some signs of a healthy relationship. You have lots of friends besides your boyfriend or girlfriend. You can share your feelings easily between one another. Even when you're angry, your words aren't mean. If you need help with your relationship or just need to talk to someone, Golden Valley Health Center is here for you. More than half of all people will have a sexually transmitted infection at some point in their lifetime. Adolescents ages 15 to 24 account for nearly half of the 20 million new cases of STIs each year. but prevention can minimize the negative, long-term consequences of STIs. Thank you for calling Golden Valley Health Center. Hi, I would like to see about making an appointment. If you have any questions about this or any health topic, ask a Golden Valley staff member or call us at 866-682-4842. Golden Valley Health Centers, we're in your neighborhood.